All right, we are here with your forearm. Basically. My forearm? Your forearm. I've <laughs> taken your, all of your skin off and here are your bones. <gasps> ah! <laughs> so is, is it Halloween? <laughs> is it Halloween? It's not Halloween. I'm Aww. sorry. Well, I guess it might be if you're in the fall semester. It could be. I guess it could be. Mm. Mm. All right, so we are looking at your two forearm bones, the radius and the ulna. Radius. Ulna. And the ulna is the one with the gigantic hook on the end. Right, it is which a, you can kind of see. There you go. It's a U. It's a U-shaped hook that attaches for your elbow, which we'll look at in a second. So on the radius, there are four different things you have to know. Right? So on the head of the radius, that is going to be your most proximal end. So that's going to be the end touching your elbow as well. And then just below that, you can see a bump. bump that bump, 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 bump is bump, going bump, bump, to bump. be the radial tuberosity of tuberosity. the radius. Tuberosity. And then as we go all the way down to the end, Zoom. so the more distal end where it will touch the carpals of your wrist, we have the ulnar notch, which is what will touch. It's a little groove. Yes, and that'll touch the ulna. A groovy little notch. And then you can see the little point at the bottom. That is the styloid process. Process, pointy process. So those are the four for the radius. Now the ulna, most of, all, actually all of what you're going to be identifying is up at the top, at that notch, that U-shaped little hook. So we are going to look at each process and notch. The first is called the olecranon process. Olecranon. Olecranon process. Olecranon. Yes. <laughs> um, that's going to be what's touching the humerus. And if you can see, I'm turning this because I it. can't see it so okay, well. Okay, turn here. it. There Let's we go. Let's do that. Okay. okay. So the olecranon process. Pointy process. Then we have the trochlear notch. Scoopy U-shaped notch. And then the coronoid process. And then there's a little spot here where the radius is going to hit, which is called the radial notch, which right now is facing up. And I'm going to try to turn it, see if you can actually see that notch. There you go. Groove Shadows or notch. something. High quality filming here. Oh, yes. 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 Um, so those are the four that you need on the ulna. So if we take them away, Maybe someday we'll be up for like an Emmy or right. something. High right? High quality YouTube awards. anatomy TV. Um, so if we look at the full articulated arm, okay, humerus up here, and then you have the hook where the ulna is going to attach to the humerus, and the humerus will then move. Ooh, hinge Ooh, joint. Right? Very funny. Flexion and extension. Uh, flexion humorous. and extension. Yep. Right, and then as we open that up, hey, you can see where the radius and ulna touch right there radius at your elbow. Ulna. Okay. And as we move down, we're going to look at the hand. Um, so the hand, here we have a whole bunch of bones that make up our wrist, which are called the carpals. Hey, and you do not have to identify them by name. All you need to know is that they are... Carpals. carpals! Yay! And then as we move distal away from the carpals, we find the metacarpals. So you have five metacarpals, and those are going to be named in order, basically starting with the thumb. So again, thumb is number one, your pointer finger two, middle finger three, ring finger four, pinky fingers five. Huh. The same is also true of your phalanges, which are going to be, again, more distal from the metacarpals. So, and on the phalanges, for most of the phalanges, most of your fingers, there are three bones, except for your thumb. Uh, your thumb only has two. There is a proximal phalange and then a distal phalange. Now for all the rest, there are three of them. There is the proximal, the middle, and the distal. It's middle like that TV show in the middle. Because <laughs> it's, in, it's in the middle. It's in the middle. Makes in the middle, sense. in the middle, in the middle. How, how long is it going to take before that reference is really out of here? Uh, probably a while. 